There's a new class distinction being made right here, right now in front of your face. And it is the distinction between the only two classes, really, the correctables and the incorrectables or the uncorrectables. Whatever you are, your world is yours. When you look at ideologies like the caste system, which is a part of ancient India and the karmic and dharmic cycle, like you're born into a certain caste or certain rank in the social or existential order based on your karma from your past life. So if you were a shitty person back then, that explains why you have to exist on a certain level of life. Uh, I'm not going to go on that tangent. But listen, in this new day and age, you got to recognize there's only two castes, two classes of existence. There are the incorrectables and the correctables. The correctable people are the people who are correct able. You can correct them. You can guide them. The incorrectables, the uncorrectables are the people who, for some reason or another, cannot be corrected. They don't even recognize their incorrect ways. Now, this is going to sound a bit redundant if you don't really keep up, but pay attention. Life is about moving correct. And as we engage on this war on weirdos, we engage on this war on inferior conduct, you recognize that we all do weird shit here and there. Now, the frequency or the rate of occurrence of your weird shit happening has to be in check at all times. You can't be doing, you know, 50-50 weird shit. You can't, you gotta be on some like, maybe like 5% to 1%, maybe really 2.5, 1% weird shit. Those are the elite people. Everybody has flaws. Everybody is subject to making error. And when you look at the definition of the word correct, you'll see that it means free from error aligned with truth, uh, aligned with fact. So now we even bring more proximity to the way we even talk about what is right and what's wrong or, you know, because everybody says right or wrong is subjective, but there's correct and there's incorrect. That's incorrect. That's false. You feel me? Whatever you want, your world is yours because we want to align ourselves with facts. So everybody does weird shit. I do weird shit here and there. Sometimes I'm fucking wrong. But I love to be corrected because I hate being incorrect. You get that. Whatever you want, your world is yours. The reason that I've ascended so fast, the reason that I've always been a aspiring and ascending individual who has never remained on any plane of existence for too long, let alone long enough, is simply because I hate being incorrect. No, I hate being incorrect more than I love being right, if that makes any sense. It's like people who hate losing more than they just simply love winning. I don't like winning per se. I just hate being a fucking loser. That shit fucking sucks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't like to be correct. You know what I'm saying? And in most cases, I prefer to be in a situation where I'm not correct so I can become correct. Whatever you are, your world is yours. I don't need to be right all the time. You feel me? So it boils down to understanding that, yeah, we all do weird shit. We all make mistakes. We all have lapses in our conduct, don't we? You know, but some of y'all have, out of 100 moves, 50 incorrect, 60 incorrect, 20 incorrect is even too much. You feel me? Like I said, man, if you're going to have a percentage of error in your conduct, it better be like 1% of the time. It better be maximum 5%. You better hit 95% correct conduct, the better. And now we get to open up the conversation about how everyone had a feeling of a way. They were feeling a way about me saying superior conduct and inferior conduct. It's correct conduct and incorrect conduct. That's all we have to focus on. Now, if you're too stupid, dumb, retarded to fucking figure out that correct exists, and incorrect exists, then we don't even have to consider you as a fucking eligible person for the shit that we're talking about, the path that we're going on, and the direction of ascendancy that we will be continuing on. Like, you're just ineligible by basic low-level, low-scale intelligence. Not everybody's on the same level and order of intelligence. It is what it is. So if you're too stupid and you need to be explained to about why correct is correct and why incorrect is incorrect, ah, man, you already remedial as fuck. So moving on. You have to recognize like those who are of the incorrectables are those of the lowest order of existence only because they end up being reflections and byproducts of their inferior conduct. They have to be poor. They have to suffer because the universe operates on laws. The universe 
is unbending and it has immutable laws that if you don't adjust, if you don't correct yourself along the lines of necessary correction, then you will suffer. You know, many people say things like straight never straightened. Many people say the path, the straight and the narrow path. Then you look at the word correct from an etymological standpoint. You have ko, which means together. Then you have rect, which comes from reger, which comes from guide, which comes from line. So it's being able to be correct is to be walking the line, to be with the line, to be guided along the line. You feel me? Instead of being wayward and deviant from the path, the correct path. Even you look at the word direct, to be direct, to correct oneself. You see what I'm saying? To become erect, erect posture. Exactly. It's it's a line. You see what I'm saying? So whatever you want your world is, once we get behind it all, we understand that moving correct is moving on the path, the line, the Sirat al-Mustaqim, which is the straight and narrow path. And it's always, we're always in need of correction. And correction to be co, because it says together, right? So co meaning two, like cooperation, coagulate, co, right? Co-working space together. It's co means two, right? So you have correction. You have the line that you're walking, which is guided by your will. And then you have the line that the universe is operating upon. And you want to move correctly, together wrecked, together guide, together on the line of the universe. You want to align with the path of the universe. The universe is an independent entity which was created by the creator of all creations that can never deviate. The only single thing in the known universe that we know can choose to deviate from the instructions of its nature is the human being. There's no cosmic entity. There is no thing in this entire universe which can deviate off of its path. The sun can never deviate from its conduct. The moon can never deviate. Everything is unerring and precise. Sun, moon, stars, universe, everything can never deviate from being what it's supposed to be. Even the angels written in the Quran are, have no free will. They cannot deviate. They are what they are so they have to move correct the human being is the only thing that we know can move incorrectly and can insist on being incorrect so you have to ask yourself what quality of existence do you have and how incorrectly are you living look at it like are you sober then you know you're not you're not living correct you know what i'm saying there's so many afflictions and so many sufferings that come with that that you already know like suffering unnecessary suffering and existential affliction and poverty and pain are byproducts and necessary consequences of deviating from the path of correctness. So anytime you deviate from the correct path, you incur injury. And that's meant to straighten you up and correct you back and make sure you don't deviate so you can stay on the line. So many dummies just continuously move out of bounds. So it gets to the point where the universe lets you fuck your life if you want. Whatever you are, your world is yours. So really meditate on this video. Sober, fit, enlightened, and rich. This is the correct way of existing. You could try to argue if you want, but at the end of the day, you're the fucking weirdo who has to suffer the fucking lesser existence because you're choosing to not align yourself with the laws and demands of the universe, of nature, of the cosmos. It's just what it is. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider the vibrations raised. Evolution has only been always been the only solution, you know, and until you recognize that, until you start to live correctly, you'll never actually evolve. You'll just consistently regress and descend in the scale and on the order of existence. Once you look at life as like the order of existence, as the leaderboard of existence, then you realize it kind of is a competition more or less, but... It's just all about how you ranking in the game. You feel me? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Move correct. Learn how to be correctable. If you are still amongst the incorrectables, if you broke, you live in incorrect. If you fat, sloppy, weak, physically, incorrect. You know what I'm saying? If you not sober, you fucking moving incorrect. You a slave. You feel me? And if you ignorant, this is probably the reason you incorrect because you're not learning to learn shit. 
Intelligence is the ability to acquire and learn, right? Acquire knowledge, information, data, and integrate it into the better correctness of your being. Wow, Shiki, you just made that on the spot. Yeah, you did. Anyway, consider the vibrations raised. If you're intelligent, you've been thinking for so long that you need to start correcting your ways. If you're stupid, you just haven't even been thinking about it. But for the intelligent people, you've been thinking about how you need to start moving correct. And every time you move incorrectly, it gets louder and louder. You get more anxious and more anxious. You get more angsty, more angsty, and you lose more self-respect. Shut the fuck up. Stop being a fearful little motherfucker. And start to love your life enough to start moving correct. Superior conduct just means superior correct behavior, correct conduct. You feel me? So you have to correct your conduct. Until you correct your conduct, you won't be able to correct your existence. And if you have incorrect conduct, you will have an incorrect existence. It's just what it is. This is what alignment is. This is just what it is. So for everybody out there who's sitting back watching themselves fuck their lives and continue to insist on incorrect conduct, you're choosing to be amongst the quote unquote untouchables. You're choosing to be amongst the lower order of existence by consistently insisting upon incorrect conduct. Once you change your conduct and correct your conduct, then you have no other option but to level up. But you need superior instructions such as these to apply to your being, to apply to your conduct, because if you didn't know anything I just said, then where the fuck would you start, right? So I just gave you a good head start. You need to correct your conduct and just look at how certain people are such great examples of like correct alignment, correct conduct, in the universe that that's what prosperity is the more you align yourself with the will of the universe and correct your conduct right because if we look at the universe like i say like or earth as like a prison you know for the spirit you know it's a correctional facility for souls bro and so many people are failing to understand that like a correctional facility officer corrections right system department of corrections right feel me Consider the vibrations raised. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, goddamn, your life's gonna be fucked up. Get on the program. The team is strong. The team is full of beautiful people right now, crushing it, pulling up with the love, pulling up with the desire and the and the, and the thirst and the hunger for knowledge, so that they can apply it to their conduct, so they can live ever more correctly and correct their old ways. You know, and that's all it's about. Like, you think it's just a workout? Nah, that's just a part of living correctly. You know, eating correctly. That's what it is. The macros, eating correctly. You know, living correctly, physically taking care of yourself correctly, not intoxicating yourself, not poisoning yourself, living correctly, you know, acquiring knowledge, living correctly, serving the world, serving your people, creating such a high level person that everywhere you go, you know, it's nothing but value that ensues from you that makes you just in a walking catalyst for improvement, you know. It, it's a sober fan language. Consider the vibrations raised. Love y'all. Keep it stacked. You know what I'm saying? Move correct.